Hello and welcome to Money Matters with Excel. Here we share tips and tricks on how you can use Microsoft Excel to manage your numbers and finances. In this episode, we are going back to basics. We are going to learn how to calculate sales tax. But we are going to use the Ghanaian case study. So we'll create a template that would help us calculate VAT, value added tax. Then we'll learn how to extract the taxable amount when we agree on a VAT inclusive amount with the customer. So case in point, you agree that, okay, everything should come to 10,000, including VAT. How do you work backwards to get the taxable amount so that you can put it on an invoice or something? So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So we start off with 10,000 Ghana cities and I want to calculate the total VAT and levies on this amount and I end up with my VAT inclusive amount. So the process begins with charging these levies with these rates. So I'm going to start off with 2.5% times 10,000. I don't want this to move down as I copy this formula down. So I will use F4 to lock this absolutely. I'll hit enter, select this down and press Ctrl D to copy down the rest of the formulas. So Alt HBO to put in this borderline and now I can add my taxable value which is an addition of the taxable amount and all the levies. So Alt equal to and I select these numbers and this is my taxable value. Next up I want to calculate the VAT which is 12.5% on the taxable value. So 12.5% times this amount gives me 1325 and finally I add these two another alt equal to highlighting these two numbers and I have 11925 so this is the pretty straightforward case where we are adding on the levies and the VAT to get our VAT inclusive amount now if we want to work backwards so let's say the arrangement with the client is to end up with 10,000 Ghana cities how do we work backwards to get that number here and calculate all the VAT in there to get the final amount of 10,000. So to do this, we are going to use Excel's Go Seek. Now to use Excel's Go Seek, you should have your model already in place. What I mean is you have some calculations that are already connected and linked, like I have laid mine out here. So I'll go to data and then I'll go to what if analysis and then use Go Seek. So my goal is to find the right input that will give me the 10,000 in this cell. So the set cell field is the cell that contains your final answer. This is what I want to change. So I'm setting this to 10,000 by changing the input cell. So this is my input cell. Okay, so basically I'm saying that if I'm setting this to 10,000, how much should this change? so that I work through to get my final 10,000. I'll click OK and I'm able to work backwards to get the VAT inclusive amount of 10,000. Okay, now same thing applies with withholding tax. So here, let's say I am paying rent of 12,000. So the applicable withholding tax on the commercial property is 15%. You normally take this out and then you give the net to the landlord. But in the event the landlord doesn't want the net and let's say he wants the 12,000, in this case you would have to work backwards to increase this taxable amount so that when you take off your withholding tax, the landlord gets 12,000. If you are going to use a straightforward calculation, you can simply take that 12,000, okay, in this case, and divide it by 1 minus the withholding tax rate. Okay, so when I do this, I get 14,117. Of course, you can do this in the same way we use Go Seek, but this time around we are increasing this amount. So I'll select my result cell, go to what if analysis, Go Seek. I'll set this cell to 12,000, and then I'm changing this input. Okay, so I'll take this and then click OK, and then I get a simulation and gives me 12,000. The important learning here is that this calculation should already be available before you can do the simulation. 
and I'm going to share this template in our YouTube channel so that you can take it and play with it whether you are calculating to get your VAT inclusive amount or you are working backwards using GoSeek. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another episode. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.